I uh, thought I'd begin by telling you a little bit about myself. I grew up on a farm in southeastern South Dakota near Del Rapids. My grandparents came from Denmark in 1911, bought a little quarter section farm, and my dad was born there and grew up there, and, and my two sisters and I grew up there. When I was uh, a boy, we still had an active farming operation. We had cattle and hogs and chickens and raised corn and hay and oats and uh, soybeans. I went to a one-room country school uh, a couple miles from the farm. Sometimes they rode a horse to school. They had a little barn there, mostly for fun, not really because they had to. Uh, graduated from, uh, well, actually the country school closed at the end of my seventh grade and it was consolidated to the Del Rapids school. So I started riding the bus to Del Rapids. That's where I met my uh, wife, Linda, met her in eighth grade in Del Rapids. Uh, we dated through high school. Uh, when I was a senior in high school, I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, when, when I was in grade school, we switched to dairy farming. We bought a small herd of Holstein cows, and we had about 25 cows and, and milk cows through, through high school. When I was a senior in high school, uh, we kind of went upside down financially and had to auction the livestock and equipment. But Dad had uh, inherited about a third of the land and bought out his brother and sister for the other two-thirds and had a loan there. So he uh, could keep keep the land in the, the old farmhouse where we live uh, by taking work in town. My parents, some of you know, were deaf. They were born deaf. So when you can't speak or you can't hear, it's a little harder to get a job. My dad ended up becoming a janitor. And uh, after a couple of years, my, my mom joined him as a janitor. And they were janitors for the rest of their working years. I tell you that because when I started college, I was sort of on my own. I went to a USD where my sister had gone. And uh, worked my way through college. I washed dishes for my meals at a sorority house. Uh, I'd show up at, at noon and serve the, the meals and then go in the kitchen and eat with the cook. And then when they were done eating, I'd go collect the plates and wash the dishes. And I, uh, that was the deal. Free food for, for washing the dishes. I also had labor jobs during college. I was a welder on the Load King assembly line in Elk Point, welding heavy duty trailers. And I also welded and painted water towers uh, for McGuire Iron. Uh, we traveled around North Dakota, or South Dakota, Minnesota, and Nebraska, uh, painting and welding water towers. I graduated from college in uh, 1975. I'm 57 years old. Uh, and uh, went to law school in Chicago. I, I uh, applied to uh, Northwestern Law School at the recommendation of one of my advisors. I got in. Hadn't been to the school, wanted to see it, and uh, I didn't have a car, so my buddy Dave, his family had an egg business, and they uh, sent semi-loads of eggs to Chicago, to the Dominic's grocery store chain. So I got a ride down to Wakefield, Nebraska, and got on the egg truck, and rode the egg truck to Chicago, and made my way to the school and talked to the financial aid people and figured I could borrow some and work some. Worked my way through law school, uh, ran errands for a law firm. I worked as a security guard on weekends uh, in a downtown office building. And then I, uh, in the summer, I got a commercial bus driver's license, and I was a bus driver for the Chicago Transit Authority. So I was sort of the Ralph Cramden of Chicago. Uh, graduated in 1978, worked in Chicago for a couple of years, and, and, and then I just had had enough of that. I wanted to come back to South Dakota. Uh, moved back in 1981, married my high school girlfriend, Linda, and uh, after a couple of years, we bought the building site from my parents out on the farm, and we moved in with them in the old farmhouse. And we uh, hired somebody to dig a basement and pour a foundation, and then we built, built the house for ourselves, ourselves. I, worked, I was working at a bank then, worked at the bank all day, and then came home and worked on the house at night. I ended up working at the bank for about 10 years and then the last 20 years at Children's Home Society. So I've been out to the Black Hills Children's Home, the Sioux Falls Children's Home, back and forth for the last 20 years. I got involved in politics in 96 when I was elected to the state senate, uh, served for six years, and then in 2002, Governor Rounds asked me to be his running mate, and I'm now in my eighth year as lieutenant governor. So I appreciate again the opportunity to introduce myself a little bit and look forward to your questions. Thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm really happy to be with you. I appreciate the chance to be 
uh, before you. This is a very, very important organization, probably no organization I know of in South Dakota with roots deeper uh, in the soil in the state of South Dakota than the stockholders. You're an organization that's very important to me and to my family, as are your issues. A lot of you know that uh, I had the chance to work with my dad. Uh, he was a small town lawyer and he served in the Senate. And he took two years off when he was in the middle of his time in the Senate so that he could go to Pierre and lobby. And he lobbied for the South Dakota stockbrokers. So he was your version of Jerry Murphy or Sylvia or, or whoever. And he loved doing that work for the stockbrokers. And while it was before my time in politics, I had the chance to visit with him later about the issues. And you know, it's interesting how the issues that were important then to stockbrokers remain really important to this day, transparent markets, the use of the free market, making sure that you get a good price for your product. When you grow up in Miller, as I have the privilege of doing, uh, you're a part of agriculture from the beginning and, and all throughout your life. If it weren't for agriculture, uh, there wouldn't be towns like Miller, and you wouldn't have opportunities like I had. Now, Han County is a kind of interesting and unique place. Highway 45 goes right down the middle of Han County right down the middle of Main Street and Miller. And most of the stuff to the west is cattle country, and most of the east is row crops. So when you're growing up in Miller, you end up uh, doing an awful lot of dehorning and castrating calves. You also haul bales, pick rock, paint fence. You do it all uh, when you're a kid growing up in Miller. And I just consider myself very, very privileged and continue to work in agriculture as a lawyer, fighting for farmers throughout South Dakota. After I graduated from Miller, I went down to the university where I got to know Dennis Dugard. Um, a lot of you may know we were uh, at the university kind of at the same time. I'm a few years younger than Dennis. He was a senior, 